Join us in this episode of Musky Mastery Outdoors as we hit the rocks to trigger strikes under a tough bite and match our timing with the moon during the longest total lunar eclipse of the century in Blood Moon Muskies. See that? 727 2018 Hammer Muskies. That's it. That's all we got for today. Today's the day of the full moon. Blood Moon, and it's time to make a stand. We're ready to go. Rigs packed, cameras packed, gears ready to go. It's time to rock. We're still in this frontal system, even though it's cold. It is post frontal, but we don't quite have the bluebird conditions. Um, that are normally associated with the worst of the worst, the hardest conditions. But, uh, you know, I think today is more small baits and just staying adamant, staying on these fish three yards in a cloud of dust. You move the ball three yards, four times in a row, you get a first down. So I think today is all about keeping our head down, just keep moving the football, and eventually we're gonna score. The nice thing about having all this great rock structure is that, you know, if, if the weed bite is slow, the rocks enable us to get a fish in, uh, get a get a lure in their face, and not have to worry about uh, you know those fish that are hunkered down in the weeds. You know, sometimes they're tough to trigger under under super challenging conditions. Today is the blood moon. It's it's uh, July 27th here. We've got the full moon today. 99% waxy. It's it's uh, full moon day, so we may see a couple bigger fish moving. When air temps drop into the 50s during late July, you know you're up against a serious cold front. And anyone who has spent some time chasing muskies knows that triggering postfrontal muskies is tough. And that is certainly an understatement. And when the muskies are not moving on my favorite weed flats, as is often the case under these conditions, I turn to the hard bottom structure to make things happen. One of the coolest things about fishing rock structure muskies is just how catchable they are. Muskies using weed cover can be very difficult to catch at times because of how deep they are buried in the weeds. And cold fronts make this all the more challenging. Even if a muskie is in a super aggressive mood, the chances of you getting your lure in the strike zone can be very difficult. On the other hand, muskies holding on rock structure are essentially out in the open, so the odds of getting your lure right in front of a muskie's nose are very high. The rock reef we are fishing here tops out at six feet, which is a perfect depth for slow rolling a downsized 500 series Luger tail tinsel. I was like, I'm going to take her as soon as I can. Dude, nice that job. That thing was stripped in line. Oh, it was. Like, I saw it take a run under the boat. Crazy. I was like, no. Cameras are all rolling. Can the eight going? guys. I saw. Always be ready for it. Oh, Dude, that God. was awesome. You are like, I saw one, and then she came back. Okay, Oh, and Let's put this thing. She's um, not a giant, but. Dude, nice no. work, man. You so bad. That was awesome, dude. Nice job, oh. man. All right. All right, let me. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> oh, guys, we've been out here battling it out all day. Fish are coming into the eight. They're not taking it. You just got to keep your cool. And finally, it happened. It's a nice one, guys. 
Oh, that was fun. What was that on the gill? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that was awesome. She took her time. Oh, dude, that's just amazing. Yeah. That was awesome. Well, Mike, that was an incredible fish, man. Dude, congratulations. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's pretty cool to see our plan come together. We've had pretty tough conditions for the last few days. We've been bouncing back and forth between the rocks and the weeds, trying to find some sort of pattern. And we finally tagged a nice rock fish. Dude, it was, and it was no surprise, like we talked about today, it was on the 500. We downsized, 500. and that got the job done. I mean, it was raising a fish, raising a fish, raising right. a fish, Talk time and time about, again. Yeah. And I knew one of these fish is going to crack. And I went into that eight, and she just kind of barely put her awesome. mouth on so it, and it was, was game on. It was awesome. Power was Awesome runs. that job. So one thing we said for sure so far today, guys, is persistence. When you know where the fish are at, but you've got tough conditions, just stay on them and keep revisiting this spot. That spot is one that we, that's probably the second time we've been through it today. We knew there was a fish there and we got her. Mm -hmm. um, and lastly, you know, we got this, we had this big moon thing this afternoon. The blood find, moon. The blood moon, yeah, which is, which is pretty awesome. So hopefully we'll get something going here uh, in the next couple, uh, next couple hours. For sure. Awesome. Let's do it, guys. So lunar phases strongly influence musky feeding behavior. So in order to tap into this magic, it is critical that you are fishing your best spots during these times. Outside of sunrise and sunset, there are four other key times that you should plan your musky hunt around, which are moonrise, moon overhead, moon set, and moon underfoot. On this particular evening, sunset was taking place very close to moonrise, and I have found that when the sun and moon's daily movements closely coincide with each other, the musky action can really turn up. Swing it, swing it this way. We got a boy, Mike. We would stand it. Wow, great eight, dude. Dude, that was cool. Dude, thank you. Yes. Oh, baby. Hey, we're turning a really tough day into a really good day. Oh, oh you're damn right, dude. Mike, nice work. Hell dude. of a net job, man. Dude, awesome job. All right, guys, you gotta pay attention to the bite when you're getting fish in the weeds stick to the weeds. When you're getting fish in the rocks, go fish more rock spots. That is exactly what we do to get this fish. Awesome. Let's get her back and get right back on this moonrise. As I continue to spend more and more time hunting muskies and studying their behavior, one thing is certain. The moon's daily movements strongly influence musky activity. Coordinating your time fishing high caliber spots with the rise and set of the sun and moon is a surefire way to increase your musky catching consistency. And as we fished into total darkness, the reddish hue of the blood moon helped us navigate to the boat launch safely and reminded us just how much it influences us as well. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products and by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less.